In the previous hands-on, we enabled SSL in the Kafka Brokers. Now we'll take it even further by creating the Kafka Client Trust Store and importing the CA, and configure the Kafka Client to encrypt data in transit using SSL. If you didn't complete the previous exercise and you're just joining us in this video, you can easily set up your environment by running the following script. Now, since I'm just continuing on, there's no need for me to run that script. That script will load in the correct Docker Compose file, as well as the changes that we've made, create the certificates, and save all the credentials for us. We'll go ahead and start by bringing up our Docker container. The first thing we need to do is create a new topic to write our data into. We'll call this test topic, and then we'll set up the replica assignment as well. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a monitoring for our network traffic so that we can see the data as it's transferred to the topic. To do this, we'll download and run the NetShoot Docker container. After it's finished downloading, it'll go ahead and start that container for us to look at. In the meantime, as that's coming up, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab and start our console producer. Now I can go ahead and write a message and head back to our monitoring tab. Now, if we look at this closely, you can see that we can see that we were running the console producer test and we can see our message right there, Kafka rocks. So even though we've already set up SSL on our cluster, it's not using it for our producer messages. Okay, let's go ahead and stop monitoring and also stop our console producer. Okay, so now in the terminal tab where we were producing our messages, let's create the client trust store and import the CA certificate. This time as we run the console producer, you can see that we're actually using the port that's configured for SSL. And almost immediately we start receiving errors. While we provided the SSL port, we also need to provide the configuration settings so that our console producer knows how to communicate. We can see what these are by looking at the properties file. This time, let's go ahead and start our monitoring one more time. And notice we're listening on the SSL port. Come back over to our console producer tab and provide the producer config. Fantastic, no error messages. Let's go ahead and send a message and pop back over to look at our monitoring terminal. And it looks like we were too slow, so we'll go ahead and run it again. Come back over and type in a new message to send. And look over in the monitoring side, and you'll notice everything looks very different than before. As you can see, everything is being encrypted. Now that we know that encryption is working, let's go ahead and disable the plain text listener. We'll open up the Docker Compose file and scroll to the Kafka One broker environment. We're looking for the lines Kafka listeners and Kafka advertised listeners. We'll go ahead and delete the plain text sections and then scroll to Kafka 2 and do the same and then Kafka 3 last. And then save the file. Now popping back over to terminal, looks like we forgot to close down our monitoring and I bet that means we also forgot to close down our producing. So we'll go ahead and close down both of them and then restart our Docker image. After things have come back up, we'll go ahead and try to retrieve the messages we sent to our test topic using the plain text ports. And we get errors almost immediately. This is fantastic. This is exactly what we want to see. The port is no longer listening and the listener is inactive. Similar to what we previously saw, the consumer was attempting to use the plain text listener to retrieve the messages. If we now try to retrieve the messages from the SSL port, and provide the configuration file, we'll actually see our messages. I'll hit Control C to stop the consumer. Congratulations, you successfully configured Kafka clients to encrypt traffic between themselves and your Kafka brokers and disabled the plain text listeners. Mm -hmm.